So you want to learn how to onboard your logo design clients into your design process. I'm gonna show you with you my four step process on how to onboard your clients. Now, the first step is actually converting your lead into an actual project. So typically I'll have a first call with a client and if they're a right fit, then I will get them on board. We approve you know, the proposal and everything. And then I'll put the information into Bloom, which is the app I use for my project management. So you can see here, I'm in Bloom. I'm in the leads menu, as you can see on the left here. And I'm gonna go click on the top one. You can see James here, I've already won this project. I'll click the three dots and click convert to project. Now you can see here, what I'm gonna do is input all that information that I need to get the project going. Now this helps move the client down the project funnel and into my workflows. Now, before I actually begin the project, the next step is actually to add an invoice and a contract. I don't wanna start any project without actually adding those two things because I like to get a deposit first before I start any work and I like to have a contract in place just in case something goes wrong, we have that set in stone. So I'll click add invoice and this will take me to the project invoice section. Now this is how I typically do it, select the items and I already have a template here so I can just click logo design and you can customize the template, I can edit it, I can change the price and whatever. And so it's 2,500 for this. If I just maybe want deposit, I can always decrease this and put it to like, you know, a thousand or whatever it is. And then so what I can actually do is actually select the due date. So I'll select for Friday. And then you can see this is what it's gonna look like. I can download the invoice. They can use credit card as well. And then what I like to do is just create that invoice and that's gonna add it to that contact and project. And then what I can do is I can say, yes, send it. And that will send an email to the clients and then I can send that super fast. And this is how I create invoices straight within Bloom. It's a lot easier than going back and forth with different apps. And so what I'd like to do is actually add my own contract in. So I'm in the project section here, go to the top right and I can click on add contract. And then what I can actually do is just, my contact is already there. I can click on template. So they actually already have an inbuilt contract template. So if I wanna use that, I can have that as you can see there and Bloom already does it for me. So then I can just put the client's name, and then I click add contract, just like that. And then you can see that was added in there. So I can use the inbuilt contract template just like that in Bloom, or I can add my own. And so I'll click attach file and attach the contract just like that, double click, and it should add that contract right there. Now the next step of the process is actually customizing my project workflow. Now the reason why I wanna do this is because each project is different. Sometimes I'm doing a website design, Sometimes I'm doing a logo design or maybe you're an illustrator and you work with illustrations. You need to make sure that you customize it and that it's easy to understand. Now I typically have four phases. I have the strategy, discovery and research phase, the design phase, the refinement phase, and then the delivery phase. For most projects though, I pretty much have a template that I use, but then if it's a specific one, I just change it on the fly. I'm gonna click on projects on the left-hand side, as you can see there. And now I can see my Pirate Skate Co here with the detail, it's in the logo design. And so I can customize this. So all I gotta do is actually click the little cog. And so I can change these points. So I can go discovery, design, refinement. And so I can customize each and every single one. So the invoice, the discovery phase, I can put research, and then I'll go stylescapes, logo design, then revision. I can drag and drop things to move it around if I like as well. Once I'm done with that, I can click save. And then now I've got that project workflow. Now, the really cool thing with Bloom is that I can click on the gray box and I can actually change the status of that task that I'm working on. I've done with the invoice, I'm gonna click done. Now the discovery phase is the next part, so I need to book that. And so I can say started on that. And if I want to pause the status, I can do that as well. But because I'm not up to the research phase yet, I can click none. And then we can use these little arrows on the side to go through all these phases and we can see that. So it's super cool to see all my projects at a glance I've got other projects going on right now that I can see. Now, the next part of the process is actually to book a discovery call with my client. Now, the reason I do this is that I want to uncover the brand personality, the goals, and the target audience that we're trying to reach with this project. Now, with Bloom, I create a booking form that I can easily get a link that I can copy, paste, share it in an email. And the cool thing is it's actually integrated with Zoom. So if you use Zoom, it's gonna be beneficial for you. So you can see here, I'm in my settings, I'm in forms, and I'm in my booking discovery call. I've already set up a form. You can always click create new form and you can create a form just like that by clicking instant booking or scheduling. You put in the details that you want, you get a link on the side here and you can customize these. So if you wanna edit these fields here, it's easy to edit. So I'm gonna go back to forms, click on discovery call, copy URL link. And then what I can do is actually go to messages 
You can see James Tilvera here. He's already in here. I can post this and say, let's book a discovery call. I can send that and that should email him just like that. And just to show you what the form looks like, this is what it looks like. They'll get this. Would you like to schedule a meeting? You can change the text as well. And so they can click and they can select the time to book and press next. And it should connect with your Google calendar or whatever you've connected it with. Tick it off and move on to the next part of the process. And that's why I love working with Bloom. They got these workflows that are just really cool. So I can manage all my projects all at once because it's easy to get overwhelmed as a designer. If you have like five, six, seven projects going at once, you wanna make sure that you're on top of it all. And so having everything all in one place makes it super practical and super efficient when I'm working on these projects. So that's my full step process for onboarding clients, for logos, for branding projects. But this works for any creative freelancer or solopreneur or any individual in that space. It's gonna be beneficial for you. You can try out Bloom as well. You'll get 30% off. Just try my code, Jeremy30. I'll chuck the link in the description below. Definitely check it out. It's definitely worth your while if you wanna be on top of all your projects and have a process that works every single time. Now, if you wanna see my four step process on how to actually design a logo after you've booked the discovery call, then click on this video and you'll learn all about my creative process.